Hey everyone, Jerry Bellini here from Recycle Parts for Art. Welcome to Learn at the Little House. Today's video, I'm trying to get here straight on frame, is the second part to, to the video I did last time, which was um, Altered Book Pockets. And here is the book. I've got you zoomed in a little bit. So let me try to get in frame. And here's the pocket. And thank you so much to everyone for posting pictures of your pockets on Facebook and tagging me. I really have enjoyed seeing seeing your book project. So uh, today we're going to be doing a said tag and pardon the glare because I've used a glossy um, Mod Podge for this. I really just wanted to do that and um, I just love the, the tags and I made mine long enough so that when you close the book there's a little bit sticking out and you can see that and I thought it would be the uh, start to having some things hang around on the outside of the book. I do have some dangles uh, down here at the corner too because I want things to be hanging all over the book. So let's talk about the tags. Let's get this out of the way. Um, today is Halloween. So happy Halloween if you celebrate uh, Halloween. Um, my kids went trick-or-treating uh, last week. I should say my grandkids. My kids are all grown. Anyway, I just I found these little characters in a magazine and I just thought they were so cute. So um, I decided to show you these tags. This one is double sided and um, it's done the same way. It's just um, it was painted a little differently. So now that you've seen the tags, let's get started. You need a piece of cardstock. Okay, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prepare um, the, the piece of cardstock. And this is going to be sound a little crazy because most of the time we're concerned about how we rip. We're going to rip the edges off. And most of the time we're concerned about how we rip our cardstock because there's usually that little white uh, that shows up when you rip the wrong way. And so, see, like I'm getting the little white edge, you might say, on this side. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to not care about that little spot. In fact, we're going to rip that edge, then we're going to turn it over and turn it around and rip this edge. And we do not want straight edges for this project. We want ratty edges. You know, I love anything ratty. All right, and we're gonna turn it over again and we're gonna rip this side. And we want some of that kind of ratty edge where the, let's say the white's showing, there's not gonna be any white showing with this because this is a piece of off-white cardstock. Okay, and you can do half of the rip and then flip it over and then do the other half. We want the variety of some of that and not some of that, but we definitely don't want any straight edges. Okay, so once you've done that, so once you've done that, then you're going to tear your paper. Into three pieces now. And you can tear it in any direction you want. It doesn't matter. So now I'm going to tear like that and keep in mind okay at this moment how long you want your tag so you don't want to cut up your paper let's just say into all these little tiny pieces you want some bigger pieces alright like that okay so you see the different sizes that I have. I would tell you if you think you're going to make a few tags to rip up a few pieces of cardstock, we are going to be making our tags using layers. So we're going to layer our cards. So now if you want to paint your um, tags, like these are painted, 
now would be the time to do that. If you want to glue down ephemera, now would be the time to do that. So you can paint and glue down ephemera, or you can do one or the other. Hope that didn't confuse you. Okay, so now you're just going to take some acrylic paint. And I like to work in uh, some kind of a flat surface. And you're going to put your paint, okay, come on, you're, you are going to put your paint <laughs> on your surface. And then you're going to take a spray bottle with some water. And you're going to just water it down a little bit. And then you're going to either use one of these makeup sponges or if you want to just use a baby wipe. I really like using a baby wipe too. Uh, it gives two, slightly uh, two different um, uh, textures. And you're just going to cover your surface. And you don't have to cover the whole thing because you're using three different colors. I'm sorry. Okay, so just set it aside and do the next one and just keep doing that and then you're going to come back after they dry. So once this is dry, you're going to come back with your next color and it doesn't really matter if you work light to dark, dark to light because what you wind up doing is you can go back and forth. So I'm putting some gold on top of the tur uh, turquoise or teal, whatever color you want to call that. And if I don't like that, like I let that sit for a second to dry. And you just kind of go back and forth until you're happy. Until your pieces make you happy. If you want to put some book text on here, you can just use a simple glue stick. And I always have book text ready to go. I just want to make sure it wasn't a couple layers. And then just, you know, use a heavy hand on your on your paper with your glue stick. And just, you know, stick it down on your on your card. And you can do, you know, a couple different pieces. I think I'm going to do a couple pieces on this one. All right. If you're doing book text and you want to grunge this up a little bit, by all means, get your uh, ink pad out. Let's do that. Okay, it would help if I turned on the camera. So I got some Distress Ink. And I have Distress Ink in a couple different colors. So you can use different colors. I'm just going to use a little bit of the um, Vintage Photo. And I'm using a Baby Wipe. I just wanted to say, if you do not have any Distress Ink, and you have charcoal pencil or some pieces of charcoal, you can get the same look with that, the grungy, if you want to get the grungy look, okay? And so I'm just going to show you, because I love charcoal pencils. So I'm just going to kind of rub around in different places. And then I'm going to use my finger to uh, smear it. I just love the grungy look. Let's try a piece of charcoal. Same thing. This is the actual charcoal. I love it. And you can actually, once you get it going on your finger, you can just rub it across the paper. It's wonderful. Just have fun with it. I like to go along the edge. Let me do that again so you can see it. I like to go along the edge where, remember where the paper ripped back? And just go over that with the charcoal. You can use the pencil. You, can, you know, there's so many different tools that you can use. Just use whatever it is you have in your stash. If you have colored pencils, you want to use those. Those aren't going to smear, but... So do this to all of your pieces, 
And I like that, um, that edge. If you look closely, you can see it almost it gives it a dimensional look. When you put um, color or um, charcoal on that little edge, so I'm going to prepare all my pieces and then we'll be back. I'm going to use the pieces that I prepared with the newsprint because I just love the grungy look. And I used a combination of the Distress ink and these uh, pieces of charcoal. So now that you've got your pieces, you want to arrange them. And I'm going to say you're going to use at least three pieces. You could use more than three if you want but you want to use at least three and you want to build up the layers and the reason we're doing that or the reason I decided to do it that way is I wanted you know my card to be very thick this is really a, a very sturdy not a flimsy stiff card so um, you're going to fool around with the placement and that's why at this point you we've just done some layering and some um, texturing and techniquing we haven't actually glued down any images okay on top of it so this one has the bird image and this one has you know the Halloween image etc you can do that last you don't have to glue an image down. You can just decorate it with little bits and pieces, and I think that's what we'll do with this one. So um, let me just grab my book because I am making my pocket for my book, and if you don't care what size your tag is, that's fine. Then you don't even have to grab your book. But um, I'm going to just play with the placement. So I'm just going to look at this and I'm just going to flip it around. And maybe I'll put this sideways and maybe this one down there. You know, you can do so many different things. So just play with the placement a little bit until you like it. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And you can always go back and decorate that more if, you, if you're not crazy about what's back there. So that looks good to me. Let's see, when I stick it in my book, it's, oh, it's perfect. It's going to stick out just a little bit, and I really like that. So now we've got the placement of our card, and we're going to glue it together. So I am going to use Mod Podge, and I'm using Glossy. I never use Glossy anything. I don't care for it. But with these cards, I wanted them to be shiny. Um, my page is kind of matte, and I wanted these to be shiny. All right, I came back to um, tell you not to worry if you get glue on the rest of your tag because we're actually going to... Let me put this over here so I don't knock it over. We're actually going to be putting glue on the entire surface. See? So just glue it down and that's my first two layers if you have to pick that up get under there don't worry about the glue getting all over I'm working on a Teflon mat so you want to be working either on a Teflon mat or on a um, piece of wax paper or parchment paper okay and now here's my third layer Make sure there's plenty of glue there so it sticks really well. And don't be afraid to make it go a little crooked like that. I think that's cute. I think I'm going to leave that. If you want to put um, an image on here, you would do that now. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave this one as is. And if you wanted to put any more... Um, mark making on here now is the time before you put the layer of glue on the top so I'm happy with this tag the way it is so I'm gonna just put some glue on the top and cover the whole thing this stuff dries clear alright my glue has dried on my card and I my hands are filthy dirty <laughs> but I know you don't care so I just was looking through this um, this little box that I keep right next to me with all kinds of little, I don't know what in here, little book 
the ends of a book and little pieces of cardboard and this little burlap and blah 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 so I, I'm gonna pull that out too that's calling me and maybe that book thing um, and I saw this tea bag in there that I had slit open and cut the tea out and I decided to try to do something with it and I'm gonna do it right here so you can see me make a fool out of myself <laughs> if it doesn't work so what I'm going to do is scrunch it like that and then I'm going to um, am I going to scrunch it that way or that way? I'm going to scrunch it this way. So it's kind of a rectangle. So I'm scrunching it this way because I wanted it a little smaller. And I'm pinching it. Let me pull you in. Sorry, I think I just moved the camera. And I'm pinching it. And I grabbed um, some thread, some cotton thread that's kind of the same color. And I'm just going to wind it around and 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 around until I feel like it's gone around enough. Okay, and then I'm going to break break it off yep I'm going to holy mackerel this thread, this thread is pretty strong <laughs> and now I'm just gonna tie it tie it in a knot see now when you go around like 20 times like I just did it won't come apart when you let go of it I'm gonna just I'm just gonna you see what I'm doing I'm just gonna scrunch it Some more. Yeah, I know what I'm going to do now. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to slide, <laughs> slide this over. And, you know, I feel like this should be the top. And I'm going to put some glue down. I'm feeling kind of crazy today. So let's do it together. So I, what I'm doing is I'm spreading out this really gooey, sticky, sticky glue. And then in the shape of what I want to be my flower on the corner of this. And now I'm going to take this and lay it down and scrunch it. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of play with it for a minute. Maybe more than a minute. And you're getting to watch me. And you can certainly fast forward through this if this is boring. But I like that. Oh my gosh. But I'm having another idea. See, this is part of playtime. And I'm not worrying about all this extra glue. That's not gonna that doesn't bother me. But it is kind of like a little flower. I'm gonna get another tea bag. I'm gonna do another one. Okay, here I am back with two more tea bags, and I tied them up already. And this one you can see is a little bit lighter, so I'm going to put this one on next. So it'll peek through. Oh, I'm loving this. Because it, tea bags are, can you, you can see me, right? Okay. Tea bags are very organic looking, and so. I'm going to make a little bouquet. Yes, I am. And I'm going to put the third one kind of right here because you're supposed to do everything in odd numbers. I'm like a little kid with finger painting and stuff. Oh, I just, I love that. Okay, all right. So, okay. So I want to put this and I really wanted to put it a little bit off to the side so we're going to smash that flower up a little bit and we're going to move this over here and tuck it. I'm going to tuck it under. So I might as well do it while everything's wet and I'm going to keep using this this tacky glue because Mod Podge is awesome but when you want to stick something uh, down that's um, textural, uh, heavy, thicker, blah, 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 like this burlap. Um, trying to choose the side. Yeah, I think I want to do it that way. 
you want to use um, you know the tackier glue and my fingers are so sticky it's pulling everything up oh my gosh I am loving that. all right I put some things in the centers <laughs> it looks totally different now um, I decided it needed some color and so I got out my watercolor paints and I just painted a little smeary crazy paint on top of the tea bags and it absorbed right in and these are just little pieces of nothingness this is a brad that I stuck in the, in the center and um, see there's the back of it and this is just a, a tack a tie tack back and this I don't even know what this is I got it out of my metal um, broken jewelry pieces and um, I don't know if you can see this. This is two little pieces of metal um, here. This is uh, links from a chain. And it's still wet. So you'll see the glue is kind of globby looking. And I just took some of this plain um, paper and just scrunched it up a little because I felt like it needed leaves. And I think I'm going to call it a day, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm real happy with it. So now... Um, I can poke a hole in the top if I want and tie something on it. I think I might do that. And, um, yeah, I really, I love it. It was fun, and it just kind of happened. And so I hope you'll give my um, tag technique a try. And, you know, it's all about the layering of the tags and leaving the edges raw, ratty, and um, just coming up with different different shapes of tags. See, this one happens to be uh, one, two, see, there's this two pieces right here. And this, it's actually total a total of three pieces. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I hope you'll try it. And I hope everybody has a blessed day full of love and recycled art. And I will see you again next time. Mm -hmm.